Hey everyone, I've got a couple of drugstore items for you today. Well, not really drugstore, but one of them is an Ulta, but the other one is a drugstore type of deal. I've got for you today the NYX Liquid Suede Liquid Lipstick, and I love it. Also, e.l.f. I'm trying out their Cover Everything Concealer today. So finally, the NYX Liquid Suede came out. These have been out online at NYX.com for quite a while. They finally came out at Ulta a couple of days ago, and I managed to score this one. The Ulta I went to, I went to two different Ultas. One of them had none. I don't know why. They had none whatsoever. They did not have a place on the NYX display for them or anything. Um, and then the other one was fully stocked, except they had one left of this color. This color is called Soft Spoken and I absolutely love it. So the liquid suede's, um, I, have this, I have it on right now, they are kind of different and I'll tell you why. So it has a very long applicator which is good which and it's angled and then it's very pointed so you can really get in like your cupid's bow with it. This is definitely a very thick opaque liquid lipstick. There's nothing gloss about it. Now they say it's matte but I can't really agree with them there. So I put this on a few hours ago and it still is not and this has been my experience with it over the last few days of wearing it. It does not ever dry fully down to a complete matte. Um, no, it's not shiny. No, it's not really a cream per se, but it is a very creamy matte, I guess is what you can call it. So I've had this on for about an hour and it still is um, sticky. It has a sticky feeling when you do that. It's sticky. It's not the kind of stick together sticky that say some of those 24-hour uh, lipsticks would have to where it sticks on um, your lips stick together and then when you peel them apart the stuff pulls off. It's not like that. It's just sort of a creamy stickiness still. Now this one came out very sort of um, mauve pink berry on me today. I have had it on before and it's looked a little bit more brown, but maybe because my eye, my eyeshadow is very brown today, this one came out very pink looking, very purple looking on my lips. So it's pulling purple, which is good. You know, it can it can pull different colors depending on what you're wearing. I guess. So it's sort of a semi-matte. It's a moist semi-matte. It definitely does not dry out your lips like all these horrible matte lipsticks do. It's, it's very moisturizing. You don't feel like you've had a matte lipstick on. I really like these. I want to pick up a couple more colors, I think. There's not a huge color range. A lot of them are not colors I would wear. You know, there's a coral and a red and a very dark purple. Um, but I would like to get maybe one more color. There was a pretty pink that I'd like to pick up. Big fan of the liquid suede. However, I do have to tell you, if you go to take a drink or something or to eat, it is going to come right off. Um, I, you know, I if you drink out of a cup or something, it's going to leave a ring on your cup edge and then as you eat, it comes right off. This is not a super long wear or anything like that. Some of these mattes can stay on really well, but then they're super dry and they look super dry and they're super matte. That's why I'm glad this one, even though it comes off pretty easily, I'm glad this one is as moist as it is. So another eye look from the Too Faced Vegas Nail collection or the Vegas Nay Stardust palette today. I used um, some colors I'll tell you about. Love, love, love this thing. I finally got to play with some of the browns today. So on my lid today I put the color Millennial which is a really pretty peach brown matte. Then in the crease I put Girls Night which is a sort of a rosy brown or with a kind of a rusty look to it. It's a matte as well. And I did that sort of an uh, upper crease uh, because I knew I wanted to put another color in the in very inner crease there. And that color I put in is called Jackpot. Jackpot is a troublesome color. <laughs> Not because of the color, but because it produced major, major fallout all over my palette, all over the place. Um, I dip my brush in and it would just pile up. The loose product would pile up on the eyeshadow uh, palette. So it was a bit of a mess. Um, and someone had actually um, asked me, you know, do you get a lot of fallout with this palette? And I said, no, I don't. I, you know, it does really well, I think. But I had not yet used this jackpot color. It's a mess. Um, yeah, it's a mess. So anyway, the other ones don't seem to be too bad, but the jackpot color is pretty, pretty scary. I put jackpot in the corner and I did a line under my eyes with jackpot. 
Um, and then I went back. I put jackpot in the crease. And then I went back in with Showgirl, which is a beautiful, beautiful bronze, uh, metallic bronze. I put that in on over my lid, over Millennial, and that really seemed to sort of perk it up. The Millennial was very um, peachy colored with these mixed with these other colors. I really liked Showgirl on top of it. Showgirl gave sort of... Um, it gives sort of a golden -y sheen without being too yellow gold, just um, a little sort of a neutral-y sheen. So, love my brown eye look from Vegas Nay Stardust today. Today for my concealer, I used the e.l.f. Cover Everything Concealer in Light. This is a new concealer for me. I had not seen it until recently. Look what my ring light is doing to it. That's funny. This is a nice concealer. It is a creamy yet stiff. It has enough stiffness to cover and to stay where you put it. Um, there are a couple of different colors. There's a yellow corrector one. Um, I also got that one, but I haven't used it yet. Anyway, um, this one has a very soft, creamy feel, but if you can see the little peaks on there from when I pulled my finger away, it has a stiffness to it as well. That's good because when you put it, pat it on, it stays where you put it. It's not definitely not a liquidy feel. It's more creamy than, say, the Clay de Peau um, concealer and softer that way, more liquid, more wet. So I put that on and it, it I think it's covering really well. I'm really liking this and it was super cheap. I think it was it was either two or three dollars. Uh, Elf is wonderful. Um, so this one really, I'm really liking the coverage on this one, and I'm liking the staying power on this one. Then this is just pure fun, and what a bargain I got. I went to Ross yesterday, and I found this, and I know this is an old item because I can tell it's from like last Christmas, but it it just looks like so much fun, and what a deal I got on this. I picked this up for $4.99. A gigantic 100 color e.l.f. eyeshadow palette. Now, I don't usually go for these kind of things at all, but $4.99 and then look at the colors. I was like, okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get this one. I've already dipped in and played with some of these, but what really got me is that half the palette is like these pink browns, which I love, my pinky browns. Um, and then peach browns and rosy browns, and there's purples over here. I mean, some of these bright ones up here, a lot of these bright ones I'm not gonna use. But for half the palette being the sort of neutral and pinks that I like, I thought $4.99, yeah. I can't wait to get in here and play with this. I played with it a little bit last night. I just, you know, dipped into some of the colors. And I, you know, I know a lot of them are going to be chalky. A lot of them are going to be hard and dry because it's a hundred, it's a hundred color palette. It's not, you know, and it was $4.99. I know some of them are not going to be usable and a lot of them, you know, because of the color are not usable. But I just, I just love all these colors that are at the bottom here. I just think they're so pretty. Can't wait to play with this. And you know, the ones that I had dipped into last night most of them were soft and and soft and pigmented I, I mean some a few of them that I dipped into last night were a little bit chalky or dry and not too pigmented but most of them felt pretty good so I'm excited to try that so liquid suede like it elf concealer like it and I love my giant elf palette thanks for watching I'll see you next time